at least favorite character to play against in Smash? Probably the Lynx. Well, at least regular Link, actually. Regular Link always seems to be the spammiest. Projectile standing villager. I've actually... I don't think I've actually ever played against a villager. I have played against a few Isabels. Isabel is also super spammy and campy. So yeah, I guess I hate Isabel. I actually have not played much Dark Samus. I, I meant to play more Dark Samus, but haven't gotten around to it yet. I guess I should try next time I play. Dark Samus is more defensive than normal Samus? Dang. Isn't Isabel just the cutest How do I hate her? Dude, because all she does is spam projectiles and plant the mine and throw the fishing rod at you. It's so annoying. I have not played Pit at all. Or against a Pit, actually. No, I think I played against one Pit. I mean, Pit's fine, I guess. I don't have any problem with playing against a Pit. The Pit. Inkling. Inkling's moderately annoying, but not too bad. The thing about Inkling is they're kind of annoying, but they're all really bad because they're all... 12 year olds that play Splatoon, and so they're still easy. I'm kidding. I actually wanted to play Ridley a lot, but uh, I, I played Ridley a little bit and didn't really feel like my kind of character. Yes, I have scanned all of my amiibo into Ultimate. I have scanned all zero of them. Add Doritos chip. What do you mean, add Doritos chip? You can use Doritos chip right now for free. Lucario yogurt? No, absolutely not. No furry yogurts. Thanks, Kratos, for gifting a sub to ZFG has big pee pee. What do I think about the planet Mars? I think it's cool. Yeah, Neeper, but I actually hate running without splits. I know for some people, uh, they like running without splits because, um, like, they get nervous or they don't like the pressure of seeing the splits or something. I'm the complete opposite. I hate running without splits, because then I, I get lazy. Well, that's the point, Quaxers, is they, they don't want to know if they're ahead or behind, and they just want to focus on doing the run. Yeah, like, people that like running without splits, they, they do it because, like, either they, they might feel too much pressure if they see they're ahead by a lot, or they don't want to, like, instantly see red and then want to reset, they just want to, like, focus on the run and not, and not, like, if they're ahead or behind or whatever. But then for me, again, it's the opposite. Like, I, if I don't see the splits, then I get lazy. I, I don't try hard to avoid the red, or I don't try hard to improve the green. Like, when I see a green split, I'm like, yeah, man, I want to save even more time next split. And when I see red, I'm like, no, dude, I got to get rid of that red right now. And if I don't see that, then I just get lazy, and I'm like, well, there's no green or red to motivate me, so I guess I'll just kind of take it easy. But it's different for everyone. No splits just isn't for me, but some people like it. I mean, if I did somehow accidentally break a rule or something, then yes, I would be rejected. But as far as I'm aware, all of my PBs have always completed 100% under the 100% definitions without cheating, or at least without detected cheating, if you know what I mean. I sound especially emotionless today. Good. Yes, the only reason I'm using a GameCube controller is because the buttons are Christmas themed. Good old red and green buttons. I can't believe Nintendo was so smart to make Christmas themed controllers and sell them all year for the entire lifespan of the console. No love for N64 controllers? Nope. N64 controllers are trash and don't deserve love. Unlike everyone in chat. Even the plebs. Are pleb killers deserving of love? Yes, even them. I'm so mad. I was on the chain and I turned around, but I turned around for one extra frame, which made Link do the tiniest, tiniest movement. And that tiny movement was enough to move off the chain, and so the chain went up and I didn't go with it. So I am very mad. Thanks for the $4.20 donation, Mama ZFG. You miss when I was a Pokemon Let's Go streamer? You really miss that? If you miss that, maybe you should just leave. Thanks for the sub, Mr. Three Nipples. Good to know that this is the run. How much does Dry pay me to let him make my highlights? Pays me pretty, pretty well. I'm sure he's honored to be able to make my highlights.
Haze me in free highlight videos, exactly. Uh I don't oh no. Don't get bouldered, don't get bouldered. Unsubbed. Dang. Thanks, Liam, for gifting a sub to quote me when ZFG resets. No, I, I did not get hit by that boulder. Nothing happened that run. I just reset it because I felt like it. Would I play Fortnite if Ninja personally asked me to? It depends. Do, does he personally ask me with something attached? Like some some dollar dollar signs? What if he asked me nicely? If he asked me nicely in cash, then maybe. Yeah, it's always it's always cool to hear about um, speedrun events and stuff in countries that don't get a lot of exposure in speedrunning. Mario 64 any percent by Kim Jong Un. <laughs> Think he's any good? I mean, people better say he's good, or else. He definitely has the record. How is possible go outside without do the DK tree? The DK tree. I got out. I got out without doing the DK tree by clipping into the guard, which allowed me to get out of the forest early. Yeah, I did see the patch notes. Dude, Leffen was so mad. It was so funny watching Leffen stream when the patch came out. And yeah, the patch notes are terrible. I, I think the gore or the the green stuff there is supposed to be acid, but yeah, it is just retextured lava. Is why Goron Tunic uh, prevents it. Although fun fact, uh, the same thing also happens with spikes. Uh, spikes are also just retextured lava, so you can stand on spikes with the Goron Tunic. Sorry, Wolf. Sorry if I ruin your immersion too much. Guys, do I ruin your immersion by telling you? weird things about OOT too much. Yeah, I've fallen into the pit a few times. We don't need to talk about it, though. Uh... Look at this run, man. Oh, you know what I want to try to do? Can I buffer this damage? Nice. I wanted to see if you can actually take double damage from that, out of curiosity. Thanks, I think all my subs are dumb for gifting a sub to I think all plebs are stupid. I do hate everyone. Don't you guys hate everyone? You guys want to see something cool? Check out this floor here. For some reason this floor makes you slide backwards. This is the floor behind the loading zone. If I go forward there, then I hit the loading zone. Here, let me turn on collision. Right here is just fake fake uh, floor. But yeah, this whole triangle right here. Look at how fast I walk. With that backwalk speed. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna do speed runs and not mess around. Hey, shut up. You bet someone thirty thousand dollars that I'd PV this run. Um, I mean, I don't want to. I won't judge what you do with your money. That, that's that's your own business. But I think I should get a cut if you do win that money. Give out a hundred gift subs if this PBs. Oh man. Now I have all this pressure. If I throw, you'll give me 10k? Sure, deal. I'll throw it later though. I, I can't make it too obvious. Discord is planning a Christmas dinner. Oh man. I really can't wait to have Christmas dinner with the people from my Discord. Sounds like a lovely evening. Fry does get paid. He gets paid in lovely YouTube comments and Twitch comments. Yeah, I love how many YouTube comments are just 
talking about how Twitch comments are so bad. I... I can't quickspin, dude. Why can't I quickspin today? Well, anyway... I will reset and do another run. Double or nothing, 60,000. I'll try. You better hope you can double or nothing for a while. By PB, you'll turn it up to a tier 3. Oh man, I got a PB. What keeps me motivated when I always have the record? Uh, I've never really been like trying to get the record or anything. My goal is always to push the category as far as possible and get the best run I can. And I know that I can still keep improving it a lot, and that's what makes me keep doing it. And money. Don't forget the millions of dollars I make every day from doing OOT speedruns. Thanks for the 10 million bits coding, Witcher. Yeah, I come up with lots of strategies. I do a lot of uh, routing and strat finding. I, I really like that part of uh, speedrunning a lot. Like, doing the actual speedrun is good and all, but I also really love actually coming up with how to do how to do the speedrun fast. Yeah, routing is definitely... I don't know about my favorite part, but definitely one of my favorite parts of speedrunning is the routing. I will die one day. I mean, you're not wrong, but why would you say that? You'll die one day too, so take that. In fact, we're all gonna die. You ever lost the run to RNG Dude? I have definitely lost many runs to RNG Dude. This run is very bad. How was he hiding from me? I, I think this run needs to die. You know what I'll do? I'll try the Skulltula strat. It's guaranteed to fail because I have no idea what I'm doing, but <laughs> the run's dead anyway. There's part one. Uh, I completely forgot how to do this one. Uh, wait. I have no idea what I'm doing. I got super lucky. <laughs> we just need a consistent setup for the keys room, and it's done. It's just the keys room is not consistent. His keys are dumb. This will save 15 seconds uh, when we actually implement it. If we can find a good key setup, just get lucky. Yeah, it does look sick. I want to not be bad. Guys, how do I not be bad? Just go fast. I should just splice. Why don't I do that? Why not? Cheating is so much easier. Technically, the floor runs the chat is spliced. True. True. So now, when someone actually calls me out on splicing, I know who to blame. Ape goat. Hi, YouTube. Stop! Stop! Mad. How do I feel about like likes? Um, they're annoying. I don't like them. I don't like like likes.